It, it, it really saddens me. It, it really does. Because I'm like you. This let me let's be clear. Okay. Let let's be before I go any further. Like my man Dennis Edwards and Sahita Garrett. Whoa. Don't look any further. You're right here on the E for One podcast. I'm Anthony AP. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, like this video. But most importantly, most importantly, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Let's be clear before I go any further. This video in no shape or form is to talk ish, any kind of slander. This there will be no slander towards any of the legends on my platform. None whatsoever. Unless they warrant it. <laughs> Which this artist right here doesn't warrant it. But something has to be said for the fact that this artist has very much so digressed over the last couple of years. And they just need to respectfully, respectfully, Frankie Beverly, retire. E for One podcast. And these are just my feelings. I want to know what you think in the comment section. Um, I love Frankie Beverly just like you do. Maze. One of my favorite albums, uh, what was the name of the album that had Laid Back Girl on it? This was like, I think this was like their last studio album that they actually came out with. Which is crazy because this album came out like 30 years ago, man. It's crazy. Back to Basics in 93. Back to Basics was my album. Back to Basics was a very, very good album. Back to Basics had Laid Back Girl on it. Laid Back Girl was my jam. But after the morning after, the morning after track number three, after the night before, that video, when, when BET video saw you to show that video, I used to love it, the black and white video. Frankie Beverly was talking that talk on the album. The morning after. That brings me to the point of where we're at now with Frankie Beverly. And and you know what? It's it's not just Frankie Beverly here. I'm not I'm not going to do it. It's a lot of other artists out there as well that are not what they used to be. And listen, I'm fully aware of no one no one can de-age themselves. This is not Hollywood where we, you with these artists our, our legends and music can de-age themselves. We can't de-age ourselves. We're going to get older. But there comes a point in time where we have to realize that, you know what? Instead of tainting our legacy and instead of making ourselves look not at our best form, sometimes it's just best to just let it go. When you realize and you come to that point, and this is with any job. OK, this is not just in the music industry and with artists who perform and record music and do live instrumentation or live concerts, live shows. When you come to that point in your life to where, you know, you can no longer physically do the job. If your job is a kind of it could be any kind of job. It could be a, a, a job to where you're physically doing something to where you're, you're thinking, your process. If, if it comes to the point in your life to where you realize you can't function and do the job fully anymore and you don't have it. You have to step away and find something else to do. And in this case, Frankie Beverly is paid. The man is paid over 40 years in the music industry. There's no need for him to still be out here on these stages sounding like this. No, there's no reason for him to be on stage sounding like that, man. Respectfully, give it up. You know, he's Frankie Beverly is older, a very older gentleman who has had success beyond success. And there's no need for you to prove it. And, 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 and I know a lot of you will probably say, leave the man alone, leave him alone. He's out here. He's still alive. He's still healthy enough to do it. But let him do it. No, no. If you're out here sounding like this. 
then baby, there's no reason for you to still be out here doing it. You know, there's, there's not. Retire, enjoy the fruits of your labor, and just enjoy it, man. You know, you know, you don't have to be on all do all of these shows, all of these festivals every summer, and just continue to to just have this output out here like that. You know, so this is not a video to where I'm showing mercy and showing sympathy. I'm just basically telling it like it is. And this is, like I said, not just for Frankie Beverly. This is for any older artist or artist in general. You don't even have to be older. If you can't do it anymore, you just can't do it respectfully. But I know a lot of you have a lot to say. So I'm going to turn it over to you and let you hit up that comment section. Get at me. And let me know what you think. I mean, albums like Silky Soul. Come on, man. Silky Soul, man. Oh, my God. 1989 when that album came out, man. I, You know, I, I clearly remember the We Are One album cover. Clearly remember the We Are One album cover in 1983, 1984, 1985. And just stare at the album cover because it was a huge maze, you know. Frankie Beverly and Maze, of people walking around this huge like brick wall maze. I love that album cover, you know, and, and the album was I love the album. It was a classic album. But respectfully, I'm saying, you know, and this goes for any genre. And this is not just not soul music, R&B music, any genre. Sometimes you got to know when to say when you got to know when to leave the party. Thank you for watching the E for One podcast. Until next time. Peace. See you later. Peace. Peace.